good morning students today we will see how to blink an led light through arduino programming so after writing a program we will also see how to simulate the same in the tinkercad software so let's start with the led blinking through arduino so to start any program in arduino there are three steps to be followed first step is the declaration of pin that is which pin out of the 13 pins of digital or 6 pins of analog you are using or you are connecting your input and output device so that will be the first step you have to declare the pin on which you have attached your input or output devices second step second step will be you need to state the pin which you declared in step number 1 will be used as input pin or output pin for example let us say i have used pin number 7 or i have declared pin number 7 of arduino in step number 1 now in step 2 what i have to do is that pin number 7 will be used as my input pin or output pin this you have to declare in step number 2 and then finally in step number 3 you have to write the logical sequence of your programming so henceforth in any program of arduino i will be using these three steps so let us start with the first program that is led blinking through arduino so as i said the first step will be to declare the pin so let us say for this time i will be using pin number 7 as my pin for the program or where i will be connecting the led so in first step i will write here int led1 is equal to 7 now what led1 means i am just giving a name to an led what you can do here is you can write any name which you want at this place you can write anything which you want this is pin number 7 which i will be using or where i will be connecting my led to so this completes your step 1 that you are declaring that whatever object i am connecting i am connecting it to pin number 7 of arduino then comes the step 2 that whatever pin you have declared in step number 1 whether you will be using that as input pin or as output pin so step 2 i will write in void setup step 2 that is void setup i will write pin mode the syntax for that will be pin mode pin comma mode and also observe the syntax here the p will be small letters p will be in small letter and m will be in capital letters so pin mode now i will write my statement or the command it will be pin mode 7 comma output so this what i have done is we have declared pin number 7 on which our device or led is connected and this led will be used as a output so here it is written pin mode 7 will be considered as the output pin so this completes step number 2 so completed now step 3 comes the logical sequence of the program which goes on repeating again and again so that comes under void loop so i will write void loop bracket start now just the sequence of led blinking what we need for led blinking we need the led should be on for some time then off for some time then on and so on this should repeat so the same sequence the same logical sequence you have to write in terms of program so let us start with that now what is the first step first step is to keep my led on this is my first step or my first requirement that we have to on the led so for that what i will write is the command is digital write okay now why digital write digital write because i am connecting it to digital pins so here you can see in the right hand side diagram that this are the digital pins the one i am highlighting with yellow are the digital pins of the arduino and this side on the down side this ones are the analog pins so now as we have used digital pin number 7 i am writing here digital write again note down the syntax that here also d will be in small letters and w will be in capital letters then in bracket i am writing led1 which we have declared in step number 1 should be high i means it should be on so here it is written in the comment as it is a digital pin and we need to keep it on so i have written syntax as digital write led1 comma high 
Now, this particular syntax can also be written in other ways. As in, I can also write here digital write in bracket. Instead of LED1, I can write pin number 7 also because we have already declared LED1 is equal to 7. So I can write like this 7 and i. This will also serve as the same purpose. Another way to write the same command is digital write will be same. 7 let us say is same and instead of i, I will write 1 where 1 indicates i and 0 indicates low. The fourth option to write the same command is again I will write digital write and instead of 7 let us say I am writing now LED 1 and now I will write 1 and semicolon. So this all four commands digital write LED 1 high, digital write LED 1 1, digital write 7 comma high, digital write 7 comma 1, this all will serve the same purpose. You can write any syntax which you want. Okay, so this completes our logical sequence, the one first one where the LED is kept now on. Now, the cycle time of this glowing is very, very less, which cannot be seen by our naked eyes. So we have to now give a delay. So it's very simple to write a delay in Arduino programming. Just need to mention delay and in bracket, you have to write the milliseconds for which you need to keep a delay. So I will write just delay in bracket 1000, which will cause a delay of 1000 microseconds, that is one second delay. So if you want one second delay, you have to write delay 1000. If you want two second delay, you have to write delay 2000 and so on. So this completes our first logical sequence that we have kept our LED on for one second. Now what I have to do is I need to bring it or to off position again. So again, as per logic, I will write digital write and now I will write LED 1 comma low because I want to switch off the LED light. So instead of high here, I will now write low here. Again, in this step, you can use any of the four formats. You can write digital write 7 comma low. You can write digital write 7 comma 0. You can write digital write LED 1 comma 0. So this all four commands, uh, this all four syntax will serve the same purpose. Now again, we have to keep it off for some time. So let us again give delay. So I will write delay 1000. Again, this command will give a delay of 1000 microseconds. That is one second delay. That means once for one second, your LED will be off. And then, yes, uh, our sequence is achieved. We have on the LED for some time and we have kept it off for some time and this I will complete the bracket which completes our program. Now what happens here is whatever you are writing, whatever you are writing in this void loop section, whatever you write in this void loop section will be con executed multiple times. So this loop will be executed multiple times. So what will happen here? LED will be glow because of high command then it will be on off condition because of the low command. Then again, when this loop cycle repeats, so it will be on, off, on, off, on, off, and so on. So that will be giving you a impression of blinking LED. So that's that's all. This is a simple program of how to blink an LED using Arduino. Hope you have understood. For the crux of this video, it's very simple. You have to just remember three steps. First step, declaration of pin, which pins you will be using of Arduino board. Second pin, uh, sorry, second step, whatever pin you have declared in step number one, whether you will be using it as input pin or output pin, that will be step two, which will come under void setup. And the third step will be void loop. In this third part, you will write the logical sequence of the operations in the programming syntax. Now let us switch to the Tinkercad to see the working of the same. So I started the Tinkercad. So what you have to do is go here and you have to write new circuit. Now this kind of user interface you will see when you open the Tinkercad. Now what we have to, what are the requirements for us? We need one Arduino. Okay. 
so i will just drag and place here the arduino from the list of components then i need one led so i will keep an led here okay then i need one resistor why resistor just to limit the current flowing through led now we will start with the connection part so if you remember in our program we have declared that we will be connecting our led to pin number 7 so what i will do is let me explain the connection first for a led bulb there are two legs one is known as cathode one is known as anode normally you will see that anode is a bigger length of leg and this bigger length of leg that is anode will be connected to the digital pin of the arduino board so we have declared the pin number 7 as our pin so what i will do is i will just connect this anode with pin number 7 of arduino board okay. then this cathode will go to ground so i will just connect this to ground but now what will happen from this connection is this arduino board will supply 5 volt to this led so now we have to limit the current so what i will do is instead of directly connecting this led to pin number 7 what i will do is i will pass it through a resistor so resistor will be connected to the bulb or led and this will be connected to pin number 7 now what will happen this resistor will limit the current flowing through the led you can also adjust the resistor value what we can do is double click on this resistor and here you can change the resistance value by default it is 1 kilo ohm so let us say now if i want 330 ohms so i will add 330 and i will select this as ohms so this will be now register of 330 ohms you can also change the color of this led light again you can double click on this and here you can select the color whatever you wish to so let us say i want green color led so i will add green and so on so this completes the connection of led blinking through arduino now you have to write a program here so what i will do is i will come here in the code part then i will select from blocks i will go to text where i can type my code so i will delete all this and simply i will write the same code here to execute you can also do it you can also copy paste the same code here which we have written so let us say it's a very small program so i will type it again so it will be int led1 is equal to 7 so here again i will explain that i have declared the pin that i will be using led1 on pin number 7 of arduino board then i will go for void setup in this what you need to do is you have to specify the pin you will be using as input pin or output pin so i will write pin mode see the syntax p will be small m will be capital pin mode 7 that will be used as output and then semicolon semicolon separates the next command with the previous command okay okay before that oh yeah void setup you have to start void setup first with the curly braces and then again you have to end after writing all the commands now third step you have to go for programming or the logical sequence as i said so i will write void loop which will be running continuously void loop bracket start then as per our discussion the logical sequence will be keep led on or glow the led bulb so i will write digital right again see the syntax digital d is small and write double w is capital digital right i can write pin number 7 comma 1 or you can use any of the four syntax you can also write led 1 comma 1 and so on or you can write led 1 comma high or 7 comma high any of the sequence you can follow then i need to give a delay so i will write delay of let us say 2 seconds if you want then the led bulb should glow off go off so i will write digital right 7 comma 0 this will put the led to off condition and then again i will give a delay of 2 seconds let us say and close the loop so this completes the program and now i can start the simulation part so here just i am clicking on start simulation and you will see after 2 seconds led is glowing and led is getting off so this completes the 
program of simple LED blinking through Arduino. Hope you have got the things and you have enjoyed the session. Thank you.